Hi, welcome to New Zealand kayak fishing. Oh yes! Oh nice! They're on the toe. <laughs> Well, this afternoon we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we've been out and caught some fish and we want to do something with it and this is something I've quite enjoyed eating in the past and it's done with kingfish but um, it can also be done with trevally and kawai in fact any other species you want to cure. The, probably the main thing to consider when you're making this is that the fish is as fresh as it can possibly be. And I've got a piece of kingfish here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to cure it and to do that we mix 100 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of sea salt crushed up and then mix it in with the juice of two lemons and their rinds or lemon zest and you mix that up to get like a honey type consistency okay so it should be runny but it should have a bit of consistency to it. Um, it's quite important to get this right and I find letting it sit for half an hour to dissolve everything, get it all um, liquefied better without the crystals from the sugar or the salt and then after that what we're doing is we're basically going to coat our fish with it and then leave it to sit. So we want to coat it now and to do that I'm using this kind of brush here it's just a little brush, pastry brush, anything like that and it works really well so we're going to put this on the fish giving it a decent coating all over it um, quite important here to make sure it gets a nice even coating so do one side of the fish first and then basically once you've got a nice even coat it'll sort of uh, gel solidify a little bit this solution on the fish because it's cold of course so yeah yeah give it a good coating and then what I do is just flip it over and I've done this on a bench that's covered in cling film here uh, or you know wrap plastic wrap and that's the best thing to use for this because after we've coated it we actually want to cover it up and put it back in the fridge so a nice generous coating using up the last of your mix and then allow it to go in for at least three hours okay so we want to wrap up the fish now in the cling film so that nothing gets out it's all nice and sealed up can't leak out any juices okay so now we've had our fish sitting in the fridge for three hours and it's looking good gonna unwrap it now so what we need to do is there's a bit of juice that's going to come off it so we need to kind of drain that into the sink and drain it away from our um, bench. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to lie it back on the bench and we're going to now wipe it down using some, ha some handy towels or paper towels. Just take care to wipe off all the lemon rind and everything that was stuck on there. We don't need any of that now, so you're wiping it right down till it's till it's nice and dry. Get rid of the glad wrap. You just basically want to clean it right off, dry everything off again, and make sure it's all clean of the curing mix that we we put on there before. So we've got some more cling film down, and we're just going to lie this fillet again on there. So what we've got in this container here that we're going to coat the fish with now is a mixture of one teaspoon of each cumin, smoky paprika and peppercorns. So we, we put that in the mortar and pestle and grind it all up to a nice powder and then we're going to use this now to coat our fish for the final part. So we sprinkle this over our fish and then we literally rub it in okay so we rub it all over the fish and everything till it's nicely coated in it again 
and same we turn it over and do the same on the other side now wrap it back up again as we did before and 15 minutes is all you need to spend now 15 minutes in the fridge and she's ready to go so we've left our fish sitting in the fridge again for another 15 minutes and now we've got this piece in yeah, this is my favourite part, so you just take it out and unwrap it again and just, I just unwrap, you know, a little bit of it because obviously you're going to keep a bit of this fish, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a piece off and then put it out on the board and, and cut that out. And when you, to finish off now, you're basically cutting this up. We've got this piece now and you can see the colour of this, it's it's quite dark, you know, it's fairly dark, you can see there you've got all those pieces on it, beautiful, coated with that lovely seasoning. Now what we do is, we're just cutting a nice thin slice, you know, so you can see it there when I peel it off, just cut, cutting it nice and thinly like that. So the... They're like probably five millimeters thick, okay? You want to cut them as many of them as you can as you as you think you'll need, basically. Yeah. So you know, slicing across the fillet or the piece of fish until you get to the end. And you can see, I mean the fish looks amazing. The um the cure is penetrated into it and it's absolutely beautiful. So how you serve the raw fish, or the cured fish should I say, is with some thinly sliced wedges of lime, okay? So you use that, and you can you can also have some thinly sliced radish and squares of avocado. Go really well with this, but also you can just have it just with some lemon, lime slices. Absolutely divine. This cured fish will keep for a week in the fridge. So there we go. Cured kingfish, it's got a slightly spiced exterior around the edge, enjoy.